This right here is a working drawbridge, but what if you went ahead and removed all its limits? I think it's safe to say that you would get yourself some sort of way of launching yourself to the end. So that is exactly what we're going to build today. Now, first things first, we're going to have to figure out exactly how we're going to build a chain because believe it or not, there are many ways of doing this. Actually, uh, by far the easiest way of doing this is just grabbing a bunch of poles and simply linking them together with servos like that. And as you guys can see, that piece right there is connected. Now, of course, this kind of looks like crap, but what are we supposed to do when you get like multiple of these? As you can see, it kind of turns into something that looks a little something like a chain. Now, like I said, this right here is by far the easiest way of doing this, but also probably by far the worst because yeah, it's uh, it's not going to be super smooth, but let's just, let's just check it out because you know, we might as well. If we anchor it, as you can see, it's like a chain, but where you can really start it to like see it looking like a chain is when you roll the whole thing up. As you can see, it's kind of glitchy and it's kind of not the that great but it works okay it does the job if you're looking for a chain this is fine but we don't want any chain we want the best kind of chain so what we want to do is we want to build a chain that's almost entirely built up out of hinges making the whole thing as smooth as possible now the actual success of our launcher to the end is very much dependent on how good this thing turns out right here so i think this is not it this looks pretty terrible as a matter of fact i've pretty much just recreated what i started with all right so i think the most important thing is that right now it kind of looks pretty bad and uh, yeah, I don't really like my builds to look really bad. So I want to see if I can make this look a lot better. So first things first, let's focus on that. Right now, this right here is already looking a little bit better. But honestly, I still don't really think it looks good. So, you know, chains in real life, they're kind of looking a little something like this. Two pieces of metal linked together. Now, if we just directly recreated this and build a boat, it would be a disaster. It'd be super laggy and it would barely work. But I think the design, we can actually take something from. So that right there is like a link. All right, that right there does look pretty freaking cool. So actually, I have a pretty good idea right here, I think. So yeah, it's gonna look like a regular chain, but it's actually gonna function like the mechanics we saw earlier. This is what it needs to look like. All right, so right here goes. Sure. Oh my god. Oh, it's a tight squeeze. Okay. All right, so in theory, this right here looks like a regular chain, but functions like the chain that we're looking to make. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's actually looking pretty good. Oh, this is looking promising. All right, there you go. That is our chain right here. Uh, just made, but uh, an actually really large length right here. Let's save this and let's see if this actually works uh, oh 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 dude it looks so good oh all right test okay so as you can see the curve on it is very large right now which is not really exactly what we want uh yeah it takes uh, a lot of these different pieces to actually uh rotate the whole thing so as you can see it's almost kind of glitchy in a way but in theory if we go ahead that's the block. If we make that block on every single one of these collision off, the rotation angle should be perfect. All right, almost at the end. And literally the moment turn off collision. Yeah, as you can see, it literally did the turn right there. And it's already looking a lot less restricted. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah, baby. That is literally exactly what I was hoping to see. Dude, <laughs> Dude, that is so cool! Look, we can roll it up and it will automatically unroll itself. And Dude, that's amazing! <laughs> Now, in theory, we can actually make the, the angle even tighter if we take that block everywhere and actually turn off collision, I think. All right, let's see if that makes any kind of significant improvement. Uh, actually, maybe a little bit. Yeah, you know what? We'll just do that as well because, uh, well, you know, we might as well. All right, collision off. Now, another big thing that we can actually do to make this whole thing look even better is turning off transparency on every single one of the hinges. Yeah, baby. Oh, that looks so good. All right, so now that we have this, we can actually start working on the ultimate launch mechanic. So what we're actually going to have to do is we're going to have to get two of these massive chains. We're just going to place that a little bit further over there. And we're going to have to go up way more into the air. There you go. Actually, we're going to rotate this. So something like so. So actually, can we, we can make this even longer. All right, there you go. <laughs> okay, we're going to put that over there and we're going to clone this right there. There you go. So yeah, now we have two of these giant chains. We're going to have to add the slipper, slippiest surface in the game. Of course, a little bit of ice. Oh, dude, this is starting to look perfect. So now we got to just make the end link. There you go. <laughs> Okay, and I think in theory, all we need right here is just simply a wheel. Uh, yeah, just like so. If this works, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> All right, the time for the moment of truth. We're gonna roll that up. Uh, pull it back just a little bit. 
I think we just need a lever. Select all. Unanchored. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, okay. We got a couple problems. The ice platform was not in any way stuck. But let's start rolling it up. Okay, they're not strong enough. They need more torque. And it totally works. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, it got a little too heavy, but this should totally do. Okay, we're gonna need more torque. All right, save. Select all. Unanchored. Okay, there you go. So this was more kind of like what I was expecting. As you guys can see, everything is unanchored. Right here, it's all droopy. Uh, but at the moment we start spinning this, okay, it's spinning the wrong way. It's like all uh, reverse spin. Okay. So right now it doesn't have enough torque to pull the whole thing up. Okay. Torque orange. Okay. Three, one, go! Oh, it's spinning! And yes! <laughs> Dude, if we set the torque to the absolute max, I think we might just be able to actually send people flying to the end. Look at that! Oh my god, it's totally glitching out. If I turn off... Oh my god, dude, it's gonna be perfect! All right, reverse spin, green torque. All right. Now, in theory, all we have to do is connect the two of these together and create what I will refer to as a little seating area. <laughs> all right, there you go. Okay, butter block, a seat for a king. Okay, I think this should work. All right, then here we go. Select all. Unanchored. Ooh. Oh my God, it's totally, it's totally okay. It's totally okay. Okay, we sit down, we sit down and we... Flick the lever! Oh my god! It glitched out before it could send us! No! Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, wait, I can fix that. All right, so right now, I just kind of like removed the butter block. But what I should be able to actually do is put it on a timer and perfectly time the release. Uh, sure, let's set it to a second. All righty, boys. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wait. Oh, dude, it just barely messed up. Dude, it's, it sent us way flying up into the sky, though. Man. All right, how about this? One and a half seconds. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, oh, dude, we got a huge bump going up more than like forward, but I wonder where we're going to end up right now. It's just way, 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 way too high. But I think we can fix that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we just made a launch way too high up. We managed to actually reach the stages. So we've got a proof of concept. This might actually work. All right, so one thing we're kind of having problems with right now is that towards the end of its fling, it's actually piled up so much of this like uh, chain stuff. Uh, yeah, we're, we're launching from like up there. So it's going like, boom, way up. Oh, there's one easy solution. Take these and move them way down. Now, of course, currently they're not connected, but we can fix that. All right, there you go. So now we have pistons in place to actually pull everything back to where it's supposed to be. Let's select the anchor. Ooh, my knee. Oh, it just right. All right, there you go. It didn't break this time. Oh, it's not loving this though. Oh, the wheel is kind of hating this actually. But this one broke, but that one didn't. So well, let's pull them back in place. Oh, the lag. Oh, God. All right, now I got to just figure out a way to make this not so laggy, man. Oh, my God. I think if I'm not standing on the chain, it should be all right. Right, so let's go way over here and link up everything properly. All right, let's try this out one more time. Like, oh, unanchored. Oh, everything's pulled in place. Three, two, one, go! Oh, it's totally worked! Oh my god, that totally worked. That was so cool. Dude, we are being flung to the end right now. It's really laggy. It looks like we're not going all that fast, but trust me. Dude, the moment I reach the stages, I'm gonna clear all. All right, clear all. Yes, and you can actually see the speed any second now. Oh, it's already picking up. It's already picking up. Dude, let's go. Oh, we just flung the wrong way. Dude, that was amazing. Uh, all right, then. I have one final weapon. Now, this is only to be used in emergencies, but I think we currently have an emergency. So, currently, we're using one wheel. Whoa, what if we were to, I don't know, double it. Yeah, guys, we're gonna do a double wheel. Now, this might completely crash the game or launch us all the way to the end. I, I honestly don't know, but it's gonna be exciting nonetheless. <laughs> All right, then here we go. We sit down. Whew. Okay, press the button. Gets everything ready. Three, two, one, go! Oh my God, we're going a lot faster. I can really tell that difference there. But we ended up getting a bit of a worse angle. All right, guys, now that didn't seem to be quite enough. So I think there's only one solution. Add more wheels. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Oh God, dude, this is so glitchy. The game is not liking this. Okay, okay let's just let's just do what we have to do. Even though we might be crashing the game right now. Three, two, one, go! Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, that's actually a lot worse. I can already tell. Like, are you freaking kidding me? What is this crap? I will figure this out. Wait a second. Okay, I think I might have an idea on how to actually do this. And the secret is right here. Now, of course, uh, you can probably also just use any other regular jetpack. And uh, right here, I have this setup with only one wheel and the pistons. Have a look at this. Select all, unanchored. Okay. And then we uh, we, we, we pr pl press, the, press the button there. Uh, it contracts the, the pistons. Three, two, one. Flick the lever and go! 
Now this right here is going extremely fast. It might not look all that fast, but the moment that I can actually clear, you will see how fast we are really going, okay? And clear all, yes. That's gonna make everything speed up a lot. Come on, come on, come on. Now that last one may or may not have gone slightly wrong, but here you go. Dude, we're actually gonna go straight to the end, bro. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God. Dude, we just way overshot the end. Oh, dude, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> oh man, dude, that is insane. That is definitely a valid way to make a freaking slingshot. <laughs>